Hello everyone and welcome back to another a Masi a chess puzzle from the book of Mark Dovretsky, an important endgame chess study which was taken from a real chess game. This is from uh, the game between Emmanuel Lesker, the great uh, Emmanuel Lesker, the world chess champion from uh, uh, for 27 years, I believe, from 1894 until 1921. This chess game happened in 1925 when Lesker was no longer as dominant as he was before. So in this chess game Lesker had the white pieces and his opponent is Gregory Levenfish. So in this chess game uh, as you can see Emmanuel Lesker uh, his king is looking uh, not very good but after king to c6 so it looks like the king is stuck so Black is going to go down and then push the pawn. So Emmanuel Lesker in this position actually he played a bad move. He played king to f6 and he ended up losing the game, believe it or not. So in this position, what would you do? Emmanuel Lesker actually he didn't see the best move, but can you see the best move which Emmanuel Lesker missed in this position? So this chess game, again, I told you that this chess game happened in 1925, only for the records, in a chess tournament in Moscow. And I think in 1925, the world chess champion was Jose Raul Capablanca. These are some historical informations. And did you see the best move? Let me show you actually what happened in the real chess game. So this is what happened. Uh, after the game, Emmanuel Lesker admit that he was afraid because of pushing the pawn with check. So king to f6 is a losing move because this is giving black the tempo move king to b5 attacking the rook after defending the rook a4. And black has the tempo and white wants to create a pass pawn but it is too late. So this is what Lesker did. Lesker is also creating a pass pawn but Levenfish is quicker. Rook takes on e5. King to c4, rook goes back, a2, h7, Levin fish goes back, king to g7, and then f2. So you can see that black has two post, uh, two passed pawns, rook to a1, and king goes in, rook to f1, Lesker is fighting with everything he has, promoting the queen, capturing, capturing, and then Lesker did not even promote the queen, after this position, Emmanuel Lesker resigned and he ended up losing the game. So if promoting the queen, can you see what happens? Then rook to g1 and if king goes to the h-file, there is only two possible continuations. Then, che uh, then checking the king and after checking the king, you are going to capture the queen. So it is that simple. Uh, so that is losing, of course, capturing, moving the king, and then capturing the queen. And then black is going to promote a queen. So after checking the king, if king goes to the f-file, then pushing the pawn, and black is going to promote the queen with check. And this is also losing for white. Okay, anyway, so this is why Emmanuel Lesker uh, didn't even uh, promote the queen after rook takes on a1, he preferred to resign. And after king to c6, now can you see the best move for white? What would you do in this position? It is white to move. And can you see the move that Emmanuel Lesker missed? Uh, he missed f5, actually. So that was the move, and this is actually a surviving move, believe it or not. So this is actually from, uh, I told you that this is from a real chess game, and this is a very instructive chess endgame study. So this is creating a passed pawn, a pawn break move, a very important move, and this time white has the tempo. If g takes on f5, then how to stop the h-pawn? The h-pawn is going all the way. Rook takes on f4 and rook to h7. And actually we can say that white is winning. 
white is better in this position. So after f5, g takes doesn't work because of h5. And what happens if e takes on f5, then here comes e6. If f e, then king takes on g6, and again the h pawn is marching. Unbelievable. Lesker didn't solve this. The pawn is marching. Rook takes on a2, rook takes on h7, king takes on e6, and this is going to be a draw. So after f5, g takes doesn't work, and actually e takes is also not working because of this continuation, and white is going to survive. Okay, but there are some other tempting moves uh, after this position. Let's check out the other tempting move. Instead of f4, what happens if king to b5? Maybe you might ask this question. Then rook goes back and then a4, h5, a3, h6. Rook back, pushing the pawn, king in, and rook to f1. And actually white has all kinds of checks. And it is not so easy to promote the queen. If you promote the queen, of course, white is also going to promote the queen. And if pushing the f pawn, rook takes on a2. And as you can see, white is promoting the queen. If pushing the f pawn, white has all kinds of checks. And did you see at the critical moment of this chess game, f5, which Emmanuel Lesker missed? And thank you very much for watching. So this was the interesting, very instructive chess puzzle from the real chess game of Emmanuel Lesker. And I hope to see you next time with more instructive chess endgame studies and chess puzzles. So take care, stay safe, and bye-bye.